what's up guys and today um I got requested to do a tutorial for eyes and so I decided I'll do that um so this is what the finished product will um somewhat look like um just one controller that uh, has both eyes tracked to it and you can um you can make them cross-eyed by just doing that on uh, that and so on and all that stuff so yeah let's get started from scratch we're going to delete the default cube go into uh, by pressing the number pad uh, 5 you can go into um, orthographic view and you're going to create a UV sphere scale it down and for for um, um, grid scales um, you hold down control, so you go S, and then control, and then scale it down. That's how you get, um, precise movements. A and same with grabbing and rotating. Oh, alright. Wait, I think I just said... No, no, that was scaling. Okay. So, um, then you, um, copy it. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. You, you copy it by pressing Shift D, in case you don't know. And, wait, no, let's not copy it yet. Scratch that. Uh, let's select this, go into UV editing. Um, go back to orthographic and first person by, uh, you go to, I mean, you go to front view by pressing 1 on the number pad. Alright, we go to textured mode. And I'm going to just scale, um, scale this up and make a properties panel. And add a new uh, texture, and let's temporarily make this shadeless. All right, now what we need to do is we go to Image, Open. And, oh, and you, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention you need a um, eye texture. Uh, you can uh, get one by just uh, searching uh, on Google Eye. That's what I did, and um, go to wherever it is and open the image. And you can see right now it looks a little weird. Um, and that's because every face is being mapped into... It's kind of hard to explain. But anyways, what you want to do is go to you. Well, this is not This is just what I do. You project from view. Alright? And my, my particular image is 1000 by 1000. And to center it, you just do half that. So 500 by 500. And now we just scale up on the UV map, and that looks good. Uh, unfortunately, we have another eye on the back. So this is, I guess you could say, a, a little unorthodox, uh, but here's what I did. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's this needs to be deselected. Like, this is po possibly the most important thing to know what it does if it's selected then y you can't see through the object and you can only select this this face which is good for like um if your uv mapping well th this is a different type of uv mapping um but in this in this case we want it off so we can just select things easily um yeah so there's that <laughs> And, uh, let's actually just select this whole hemisphere, and we scale that down, and bring it to the corner. Let's actually bring it exactly on the corner. Can I do that? There, no, that's not right. Uh, 900, maybe? Yeah, whatever, 900's good enough. 950, last chance. 900 okay good enough and uh, now we have a properly UV mapped eye so now what we need to do well let's actually just go back into default so we can get rid of that go back oh oops go back into textured mode shift D and bring it on the x-axis you do that by pressing X after you press G and there you go, you have your two eyes. Okay, and now what you want to do 
is um, you go uh, sh uh, you select one of the, your eyes, Shift S, cursor to selected. That's very useful because the cursor is um, where um, objects um, are placed. So like if I put a plane, the center is where the cursor is. So we want to add an armature. And it's a little big and it's not rotated the right way. So the first thing we want to do is click this person thing right here uh, and click x-ray. So now you can see it through objects. So now we go back down here, uh, press tab to go into edit mode, and scale it down, and then scale it this way. It has to be from the center to the um, to the iris of the eye. Um, that it can't be it can't cover the whole eye like this. I did that once. It does not work. The rotation does not work correctly. It needs to be in the origin of the eye. Okay, and now we. Uh, copy that and on the x-axis um, there that's centered okay and now what we do is we select the eye and select the armature and press control P and bone and then to this one as well and then control P bone and now the bone controls the eye but now we it now if you just selecting the eyes is very hard to like uh, animate mostly because the only time um so the only time you won't want um the eyes moving separately is if he's going cross-eyed and the control we are we, that we are about to make does that as well so um Let's just select, or, yeah, you select both of them, and then it gets the center of them, and then you do shift S, um, cursor to select it, and then shift A, and add a curve. Uh, let's see, which one should we do? Let's just do Bazir, because I know that the best. And again, it's a little big, and it's curved. So first off, let's just scale this down. Uh, and then down there and now let's bring it up there and now we press T oh no we don't press T um, over here oh that's how you toggle this press T and on this side press N to get that I'm not sure what these are called but whatever and as you select all these and I believe no not free you set it to align I think no, vector. There we go, vector. And now, once it's at vector, you set it to free. So now, uh, you have an editable, uh, an editable uh, curve. So this is where you make your basic shape. And so let's do that. Okay, wait, I just realized something. Okay, so this Bezier curve, uh, let's just set it to the side for now. And we need a circle. Rotate X, 90. And bring it up there. And scale it down. And scale it down some more. Actually, that's good. Exact same size as the eyes. So let's select that. Oops. Oops. And good. So now what we want to do is just make it. I don't really care if it's perfect, personally. Uh, but we're going to make um, just something that goes over the eyes and around the around to the circle. So let's copy that. And paste it there. Oops. Uh, and then that. Wait, what? Oh, wrong way. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That that's not right. <laughs> there we go. And then we rotate that. And that's good. Wait, actually, let's do that. 
and then scale it down and then select this uh, can't create segment okay never mind let's not do that uh, let's see let's rotate this again oops rotate and scale it up to the appropriate size and just bring it down there perfect perfect enough and then we select those and that let's just delete that and then there so we bring it up to there and we have a okay besides that it's, it's good enough it's good enough for our purposes and now we select all that and that shift D scale X and then negative one and now we just have to center it correctly and close uh, there there okay and last one we go out of we go into object mode so it's not the same object this is all the same object because we we've, we've been doing this in edit mode so um now we go to object mode shift a and add a circle rotate x 90 uh and then there and scale it down that's good um I'd say about halfway in between um, the pupil and the iris. I, th I think it's called an iris, something like that, whatever. Okay, and then we'd shift D, bring it over here. And we're almost done with the eyes. Um, a few more steps. So now what we do is we um, select these, and then select this, control P, uh, and then compare it to object. Oh, no, that's not what we want. Uh, let's do one at a time. That, that, control P, object. Make sure you're selecting the big thing first. Control P, object. Okay, that doesn't seem right. Hmm. Uh, maybe it is right. Let's see, does it work? Okay, it works correctly. It's a little bizarre, but it works. Yeah, I'm not very fond of that, but... If it works, then I'm not going to try to fix it. Okay, now, last step. We have to um, go back to here. Um, I believe it is under bone constraints. Oh, and we have to go into pose mode, add constraint, and track to. And then uh, the name here is Bezier Circle. So we want to go back to here, target, Bezier circle. There, and you may notice some changes, possibly not. Oh yeah, here here you'll notice the changes once it, we get here. We do the same thing for, for, for this side. The only difference is with this one. Add constraint, track two, and this is Bezier circle one. And we go to target, Bezier circle one. Oh, no, there is no change, but whatever, that doesn't matter. And now, when we move this, it, um, this eye, oh, I'm, I'm pointing, uh, you can't see that. This eye tracks to here, and this eye tracks to here, and they're both parented here. So, that's how that works. And it goes down, and up, and if you want to get fancy, you can add constraints, or you can just not model more than what's realistic. Um, and what I mean by constraints is that, like, let's say our eye goes right there, then you can make it s stop rotating there. But you don't have to do that. And now when we select these and scale x negative 1, he's cross-eyed. Okay, and that's how you make an eye in Blender, or eyes in Blender. Thank you for, for watching. Please give me feedback. Uh, like it if you liked it and all that stuff. And yeah.